<laughs> Radio, this is the first video where we zoom in on phase two, presentation requirements for the great 12 HD pad. And I'm going to be discussing for you just this point number five and detailing one or two important matters out of this. Okay, in the next videos, we look at the actual layout drawings, which will include your floor plan, your elevations, the detail section. So make sure you like, share and subscribe to get those videos that's coming quite soon. All right, in this video, let's start. We're on page 13 of your EGD PAT civil document. And I'm going to read with you here what it states. What you need to do is present the selected solution as a set of working drawings. So working drawings refers to the drawings that a builder, a contractor will use to actually build the building. So you can really see here, it needs to be at a standard where someone will be able to interpret your drawing and actually build the building that you've uh, proposed. You also need to do a pictorial drawing, which will be a two-point perspective, and they are defined below in this document at 5.1 to 5.3. All the working drawings must be prepared on appropriately sized drawing sheets, and that's going to be a three for all of you. Set up with correct borders. And then it says, only one, only the first one of these drawing sheets must be set up with a complete civil title panel. I'm going to detail in this video how that civil title panel looks. Of course, only one, so it's only the first one. The rest of them still would have to have the border with your name, your page number, date of completion, and the title of the drawing. But the first one will have the complete title panel. The drawings must provide clear evidence that a high level of competency has been attained in the following two drawing methods. Now, for the sake of my class, and I think most classes, we're just going to be focusing on instrument drawings. You might not have CAD um, as an option at your school. If you do have, of course, it's going to apply to you. But in this video, we're in focusing on the instrument drawings. Note, one entire drawing must be prepared using drawing instruments and the other using CAD programs. In our case, we're going to make sure all of them, all of them, are going to be drawn using drawing instruments. Okay, we're not using CAD. The perspective drawing may be prepared using either instrument drawings. We're going to use instrument drawings. Schools that do not have CAD will prepare all of them, as I just said. Now, the title panel and all aspects of all drawings must comply with the guidance guidelines, drawing symbols, graphic symbols, and representations contained in the SANS 10143. Okay, I'm going to have this as a download in the description, but we're going to focus in on this title panel and how that requirements can be met. Now, also as a download in the description is this document, and it discusses the requirements of a title panel, a civil title panel, that you're going to have to do on your very first working drawing, which will be your floor plan. Okay, so it's 5.1.2 title panel. To facilitate references when prints are filed and folded, place a title panel in the bottom right corner. That's your first compliance. Title panel, bottom right corner. The title panel provides the following information. You must cover the project title your subject of drawing. In other words, the project title will be, for instance, proposed new media center and library. Okay, that will be your project title. Your subject of drawing, that will be, for instance, the, la the floor plan or the two elevations or the sectional elevations. Okay, the more the title of that specific drawing. Your scale must be included. The date of the drawing, on what date you completed it. The project number, and in your case, you can come up with your own creative number. The drawing number and revision letter. Okay, again, you can come up with your own here, and I'll show you the revisions here below. The code references, if appropriate. The name of architect, that's going to be your own name. Your address and telephone number. Again, this can be fictitious for your exercise, of course. Your name of your project architect, engineers, etc. And this can again be fictitious in your case. It should also give the names or initials of the persons who drew the drawing and who traced it or prepared it and who checked the drawing. So if we look at the example of the title panel, here's two examples next to each other. All right. So if we go from the bottom, it's the reference code. I'm not sure this isn't very clear, but let's try and see it. The reference code, the date, who drew it, that's going to be your name. Who checked it, you can have your teacher's initials there, and the scale. You have a drawing number, again fictitious, your project number fictitious, and then your project, proposed new, and you're going to enter the media, center, and library, 
and you're going to have your address. This example is a site plan. You're most likely going to have your floor plan. Then if you have a printer that printed it, the date of the print, who's the architects, and then your revisions. You always start at the bottom and work yourself up here um, so that you have ample space. Okay, and so you'll have your first revision, and this is critical. Let's say your teacher asks you to change your wall thicknesses or something. You're going to list them here with the date and what you changed. It's a good exercise for yourself. And then on the top, you'll have to have space, your signature and your client signature and any notes that you might have. Okay, so that's all covered in either one of the two. Here's an example of where it fits on the page. You can work with 100 millimeters in width and it's on the right hand side. Okay, sometimes there's other things that's added to this, but these are the minimum requirements specified. Okay, let me show you one or two practical examples of previous work. Okay, if you look at this title panel on the right hand side, it's correct in width. It's got all the details that we talked about, the scale, the date, the project details, who drew it, who checked it. The title, the project title of this specific page, the architect name, the date of print, revisions, etc. And some notes on top. So that's an example. You need to do your own and you need to populate it with your specific information. Thank you for watching. Next up, we're going to discuss the floor plan. Cheers. Mm -hmm.